Next question is from Prof Arbor. How do you manage your fitness, lifestyle, business, and being a father? I know you all make it seem seamless, but I struggle with maintaining my fitness, work, and being a father. Well, I'm like super pumped this person thinks we do it seamlessly. Yeah, I know, right? It sure doesn't feel that way for us sometimes. No, I I think uh, structure helps a lot, right? Mm. So like if I I work out every morning at 6 a.m., that's how I maintain my workouts. If I don't do them at 6 a.m., then uh, they become very, very inconsistent because the day throws things at me. I get tired or whatever. Yep. So that's how I maintain fitness. Uh, business, you know, we come in here, we do the stuff that we need to do, and then we hire people and outsource the stuff that we don't necessarily need to do. I think this is extremely valuable in business, um, uh, especially as you start to grow, because if you get stuck in that you're doing everything yourself uh, mentality, you actually limit. Uh, the amount of growth that you can have. Um, and then as far as family is concerned, I mean, I prioritize things like dinner with everybody. I make sure sometimes I'm tired and I want to sit on the couch and not do anything, but I have my kids with me and I, you know, I make the choice to do, to hang out with them instead or play a board game. You know, it takes a lot of structure. It takes a lot of balance. It's just, you got to put your, you have to kind of prioritize some of that balance. It's really the, the, that's the big thing. Yeah. I mean, structure is something I've had to learn over the years uh, just to be able to get any of it to be consistent, you know? And so that's, that was one of those, it's, it's hard for me to think of that direction because I just want to go ahead and do what I want to do at the moment. And then, you know, have that always in the back of my mind, like I'm going to accomplish this and I'll get to it uh, after I get through all these things, but to, to really be able to um, make sure it's a priority, I have to be able to have that space, you know, there for that, but it, it's a weird balance still having that flexibility. So it, it looks different. So it's not like, you know, what I had in my mind of, okay, here's my, here's my time allotted for fitness. You know, it's an hour and then I'm going to do this very, like very specific program. And it's going to look like this workout. Uh, it always changes. Like, so I go in there based on how my body feels, I'm changing it all the time. And maybe it's less, maybe it's more. Um, but, uh, I'm trying to adjust all the time with what I can do and then whether I could incorporate my kids or my wife into, you know, the fitness. And, and so that way I, I'm getting family time and, you know, it's just, I'm shuffling constantly, but I'm, I'm trying to at least, you know, provide some time frames of where that's going to occur. So, um, a little bit different than you guys. Um, uh, I think, uh, empathy and honesty, uh, with yourself is important here. So, uh, the empathy part, I think here's the deal, fitness, work, and being a father, um, it, something's going to give, right? If you are crushing work and you're a workaholic and you, you work 12, 18 hours a day, every single day, uh, of, in seven days a week, uh, fitness and fatherhood is probably going to give a little bit. Um, if you're, uh, you don't work at all and you're a stay at home dad, uh, then work suffers a little bit and, but yet you're an awesome father. And then if you're a fit- fitness fanatic and you train seven days a week and never take it off, well, you're probably in super great shape, but maybe you're a little bit more of an absent father and just kind of half ass at work. So, I think being uh, empathetic to you and then also knowing which of those are the, are, the, are your highest priority. So for me right now, and, and that could change, by the way, where you're at in your life. Like uh, for me right now, that's that's kind of shifted and changed. Like uh, being a father is by far the most important thing to me right now. And with that comes empathy with the way I am physique-wise sometimes. Like uh, somebody who has prided himself on keeping myself in you know, premium shape all the time and competing at the highest level. Like, you know, I have very high standards for what fitness looks like for me. Uh, and so I've had to, to wrestle with that a bit of like, you know, like, am I, am, I may not be as fit as where I'd like to be or where I was before, um, but I also am, uh, I'm being the father that I want to be. And so that's the empathetic part. Then there's the, the honest part too. Because then there's the other side of of me or m- many people, which is justifies why I'm not working out or justifies why I'm not being a present as a father. So, you know, I, those two things, I think I'm, I'm, I'm always checking in with myself. Like, am I being honest with myself when I say I couldn't make it to the gym this week or was I being lazy or did I not make a, a priority to get there? Because I know that if I train two to three hours in a week, I can maintain a pretty good physique. You know, it's not competitive physique, but it's a pretty damn good physique, two to three hours. Yet there are weeks when I don't make two to three hours in the week. So 
Was it because I was working so hard and I was being such a great father or was I being lazy and I didn't prioritize? So being honest with you, and sometimes it's going to look like that. Sometimes it absolutely was. You know what? There was a lot of family stuff that happened this week. There was a ton of work things that got thrown on my plate. So I did. I prioritized work and family and fitness took a back seat and I only made an hour this week. And so I, I didn't do well. That's okay. Be, be empathetic to yourself and be understanding, but also be honest. Be honest and be able to look at yourself and say, you know, am I just making excuses why I'm not spending time in this one department? Mm -hmm. And if you need structure in order to do that, then I agree with that. But I also think that fitness, work, and fatherhood are are three big, massive rocks. Oh, yeah. It's always changing. Yeah, that that take a lot of a lot of effort, right? I mean, and probably fitness the least, right? Fitness really only takes about three hours a week. But I do recognize being a father and 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 a, and a business owner. That sometimes, like fatherhood and business, is like everything for me. That week, it could be crazy. It could. There's already been weeks where work has been absolutely crazy, stressful, lots of stuff on our plate. In addition to that, I am not sacrificing father. I'm not sacrificing my time with my son when I get home for an hour. That's I've made that like that's my mm -hmm. commitment. I'm not. And so you know what. Fitness got put on the back burner that week. Eh, so what? If it's just one week, that's not gonna. It's not gonna t take me from somebody who is in premium shape to awful shape in one week's time. And that's where the honesty part. Comes yeah, in. and I think too, you know, when when you do things like start a business or have a a child, you have to make peace with the fact that it's not going to be like it was before. I think this is where a lot of guys will struggle. You know, where a lot of guys will say, "Oh, you know, I used to just." Work out when I want in the afternoon. That's my favorite time to work out. That's what I like to do. Well, okay, it's not going to happen anymore like that. You got to make peace with that. Or, mm -hmm. you know, oh, I used to, you know, my wife and I are, you know, we used to just go out to dinner and, and enjoy ourselves. And, and, you know, now that we have kids, you know, we, well, yeah, this is different now. It's just the way it, I used to be able to sit down and watch movies and stuff, but now I got to clean up the house and stuff. And that's what I do now. Well, yeah, this is your life is different. Though all of those are, are important responsibilities. And so life is just going to be different now. That might mean that you have less time to surf the internet or watch TV or do other things because now you're you're handling other responsibilities. And here's why it's important to make peace with that because if you don't, you're going to hate it while you do it. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't, you're going to be cleaning the house and hating it or you're going to be doing things and you know, you're going to hate the fact that you have to work out at a time that you you know that you, you you don't like to work out, or you're gonna hate the fact that you're you're working out at home instead of at the gym because you know you have to save that time. You're gonna hate all these different things. Make peace with the fact that it's just different now. And then when you do, you actually enjoy the the whole process. It makes it you know a, a lot easier. And I think that's a big part. Here's the other thing too um, is that and this is this is I like what you said about honesty, Adam, because here's where I like to use honesty. Be very honest with with the value uh, that you that you place on the things that you spend your money on. And so, what I mean by that is, a lot of us, without realizing it, the average person, the average middle class American, spends a lot of money on stupid shit. That we really do. If you really looked at your at your things, at the stuff you spent money on, and let's say you went to Starbucks every day, I buy my coffee every morning, or you go to Starbucks twice a day, you're probably spending two to three hundred bucks a month. On Starbucks, I'm just using a simple example, but you're, you're probably spending a couple hundred dollars a month on Starbucks. What if instead of spending that money on Starbucks, you hired a gardener to mow your lawn for you, which now, and, and do your yard work, so now you've got a few hours a week open that you can spend more on your fitness or your family or your business. I remember once I, you know, I, I came to this conclusion when I, when I was hiring someone to clean my house. It was in, in you know, in the... The way I grew up, no way my mom would ever hire someone to clean the house. I can do it myself. That's silly. Well, I started doing the math. I'm like, wait a minute. The hour I spend, the two or three hours I, uh, I have this person clean my house, if I dedicated it to, to business, I could earn more money than I spend on that housekeeper. It doesn't make any sense. Of course I'm going to do that. Or the time that I spend with my family is way more valuable. So think of it that way too. Maybe you don't buy the expensive stuff or the designer clothes, or maybe you have a car that's not as expensive, but instead you pay for people to help to free up time. Maybe you hire an assistant. We do this here at Mind Pump in our business. We have staff here that literally does things that we could all do, but what, does it do, what it does for us is it frees up our time so we could spend it on other things. And so that's, I think, a, a, a big part of the honesty is, okay, can I free up time by taking money away from these things that I spend money on and placing it in places that might be more more valuable.